Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to update your PS3, any model, any firmware, to 4.87. So this is upgrading it to the official firmware. So why would you want to watch this video and not just go to, you know, to the update section and update via the internet? If you do that, that's great and if you updates to 4.87, fantastic. The reason is I'm going to be creating a bunch of videos on how to jailbreak and install custom firmware to PS3 Hen. So you can you know, do backups, you can do homebrew, all of that good stuff. This video is not condoning policy, it is for educational purposes. Before I just get that out there. And because I'm going to be doing that, one of the requirements is that you be on a firmware like 4.87, 4.86. 4.87 is the latest version as of now. There's a big chance that Sony will not release another update because it is end of line and they are they said they were going to take the PS3 store offline. Then they reversed that decision for PS3 and PS Vita. Still going ahead with the closure of PSP at least for now. But it is pretty much end of line, so it's unlikely to get an update. But if they silently let's really let's say released a 4.88 update which prevented some of you know the modding capabilities that you can do when you install something like ps3 hen or ps3 custom firmware and you went and updated it via the internet via the console then what would happen you would be on a version that you can't actually utilize for you know modding purposes so this is the reason i'm creating this video so you can do it in a offline mode you obviously need internet to get hold of the firmware plus you'll need internet to actually watch this video technically you could have been given this video on usb by a friend that's downloaded it in a different country possibly or anywhere else i'm ranting so let's just get down to downloading it so there's a couple of things you will need to download first of all you will also need a usb stick and that stick needs to be formatted to fat32 that's what the ps3 recognizes don't worry, I'm going to cover both of those things. So what I recommend is if you go to Discord, there's a link in the description to our Discord group. In there, provided all the links. The reason I've done it this way is if an, a link gets updated, it's a lot easier just to update it here instead of going, you know, back and forth in videos. So go to Sonar Systems. You know, again, the Discord link is in the description. Scroll down to PS3 and go to pinned messages and you want to download the ps3 4.87 firmware there might be other firmware versions that i'll put here as well so i'm going to open that in a new tab you're also going to need the fat32 formatting tool if you are on linux or mac feel free to format that into fat32 and the rest of the process is exactly the same so on the ps3 firmware website you want to download the ps3 update click that for me this has pretty much never worked when I've tried it. So what I figured out is if you right click, save link as, I've already got it, so I'm not gonna resave it. If you press save, it actually saves it. That actually works. Another way of doing it is right click, copy link address, open in a new tab, paste it right here, and it forces the download. For some reason, clicking the button does not work for me. If you have that issue, just follow those steps. Next, you need this FAT32 formatting tool. If you have some alternative tool, feel free to use that and just click on the image, you'll start downloading it. So you can use the built-in Windows formatting tool. Thing is, if your USB stick's a bit too big, the actual option doesn't appear. So, so let me show you. It shouldn't appear for mine. So untitled then is what I want. If I go to format, FATFA2 is exactly giving me that option, but if the stick is a bit too big, sometimes it might not. So that's just something to bear in mind. So now I'll delete all of this. Now open up GUI format.exe, doesn't need installing. Make sure you carefully select the right drive so it is untitled or not. On, that's just the name of it, but it's the N path that i need so n because if you don't you'll format to another drive and you'll lose all the data on there so another warning if you've got data on there that you need make sure you back it up allocation unit size just leave that as default you know whatever it picks it up as volume name you can change that select quick format just to make things quick and easy and start okay if you get that issue where it's moaning about something like that 
easy way to fix it if you just close you know any finder you know file explorer windows and then click start hmm. file to open device let me reopen this Go right here. Let's close all finder windows. Flat 32, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Being used by another process. So that is strange. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug it and then plug it back in. There we go, we've got N selected. Make sure N is selected, click start. There we go. So that was a bit strange. If you get that, just make sure you close the file explorer windows down and you know unplug it and replug it in as well. Feel free to try another slot. Next, what you want to do is go to your freshly formatted drive. Again, make sure it is in FAT32. In here, you want to create a new folder called ps3 all uppercase apart from the number create a new folder in there called update all uppercase and in there you need to copy over the file that we downloaded so mine is right here make sure it is named ps3 updat.pup yes that's updat or update without an e at the end and all uppercase and it's .pup if you can't see the extension go to view and go to you just select that it will show you the the file name extensions i didn't refresh hence why it didn't disappear okay so if i yeah my windows gonna go a bit messed up Just bear with me that's just my windows sometimes when i drag across from window from one window to another for to another window it messes up slightly but you shouldn't have any of these issues okay i'll just copy and paste this over control c control v boom once that's done to safely eject your usb stick and we can switch over to the PS3 and install the firmware now. So I'll see you there. Okay, so we're on the PS3 now. So let's update this. Make sure your USB stick is plugged in and scroll all the way to the left, almost to the left. Go to settings, go to the top, system updates, click X. And go to update via storage media, click X again. You'll scan it, you'll detect the firmware, click X. user agreement press right go down you can even press x or press right and you can select this this will just turn the console off after it's successfully updated i want it to restart so we can see the firmware in the settings so just deselect that click x and now it's just going to copy over So I may or may not edit this part out, but if I don't, then I'm just going to sit in the background, talk maybe a little bit, and play a bit of Tekken 3 on my PSP Go, and then I played just some PSP boxing videos recently. Judo. She knocked me out. Okay, so now just press the PS button to use it. It's connected. And there we go. And it's installing the update. Again, ooh, this is just a waiting game now.
Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to turn my controller back on. And it should connect any second now. Boom! So if we go all the way to the left, we go down, 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 down we go. And we go to system settings, we scroll down again. And we go to system information. It says 4.87 right there. And boom, there we go. We have. I'm a free space, but there we go. We have successfully updated our PS3 without going through the update via internet option on our PS3. So feel free to check out my videos on how to install PS3 Hen, PS3 custom firmware, installing games, packages, that sort of stuff. I'm be creating that over the next week or two. And chance of by the time most of people watch this video, all that content's already going to be created. Feel free to check out the Discord group i've covered at the start that has the links for both the things you will need in this video it has a thriving community with over 2100 members and you can just post questions in like the ps3 channel or any of the other relevant channels that's it i look forward to seeing you in the next video and bye bye